Hey, Ted at Blue Forest here. It is March 10th and the snowstorm is rolling in. Hanging out with the ducks. Uh, they don't seem to mind it too much. But taking a look at our pond, it uh, really filled up last, last night. Starting to hold some water in the previous days with the warmer weather we had, but <clears throat> It never dropped below freezing last night, and all of the moisture that's been melting up this hillside and running down the hill is collecting here. And it's awesome to see. It's early in the year for it. Um, this, this pond is, a, is just an example of a way you can manage your water on your property. Uh, I'm holding all this water here, and besides, nice little habitat it provides for the ducks and and different uh, habitat and diversity for for my plantings. It's really capturing this water and letting it soak in. Now there's not really a ton of soaking going on right now, as the ground's still thawing and the water table is super high. But but definitely as the spring progresses and as we get into summer months and we get big rainfall events instead of water just running off the property you, got, you can see a little swale system here and it's pretty covered with snow but it extends all the way over to the other side of my yard and so any water that's coming off down slope here I would want to just carry straight on down into my house and basement or off the property in general will be diverted by the swale system will hydrate all these plantings I have of uh, got some pears and elderberries and currants and uh, nanking cherries and all sorts of stuff in there so we'll hydrate that but it will also follow this uh, swale and end up being deposited in the pond if there's any excess runoff and then it will exit the pond over there as my overflow which that is what I kind of want to get a look at right now to see if it's backed up or not the pond looks pretty high so I'm wondering if this uh, overflow isn't backed up with ice still well, it looks like it is maybe draining out there. Yeah, it's maybe a little uh, higher than it would normally be with the ice there, but it is draining, so that's a good thing. Um, you can see it goes on. I've got another little pond dug over there. Um, on beyond my property and into the neighbor's. But it's important to have overflows designed into your ponds and basins if you're going to be building them. Because if this was to continue to fill up here faster than it can soak in, uh, it would find a way out. That would cause problems. But it is working nicely. This pond's been in place for, geez, I don't know, five years now. The ducks love it. It's a great hydrating part of the landscape. And good example of how much it can fill up usually it dries out by the end of the season uh, come August September uh, depending on how wet or dry the year is but in those cases I usually take the opportunity to scoop out the bottom layer that accumulates on the pond bottom and use it as really high, high nutrition high nutrition density soil for my my plantings and building up my berms uh, the ducks are in here pooping all year long. There's leaves raining down from the trees above. Uh, there's soil that's being eroded that gets caught in the pond bottom. And so I can really scoop that out once this is dry and bring it back up slope to where I want it and build up my planting beds. So it's a good system. It could be better for sure, but just wanted to kind of share that and take a look at it in action here this spring. So I'm going to get back to my snowstorm and my little duckies. I'll catch you later.